Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. Happy DLC Day. Now, if your WCW pack did not download by itself, let's say you have the season pass like I do, and it did not download, you would have to manually do it. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I would have to click in here. And again, it is free because I have the season pass. If you don't have the season pass, it's about $10 USD. There it is. All right. So I restart my game and there it is. We go to unopened packs now. Inside of this WCW pack, we're going to have Diamond Dallas Page, Iron Sheik, Mr. Perfect, Lex Luger. It is a pretty good pack. Let's see who's first. Mr. Perfect. There you go. The Iron Sheik, the next one. All of these guys are going to be a 95 overall pink diamond. And the player models look insane. You're going to see all of them here in a second. There is Lex Luger. And now we get another 95 pink diamond. This one, the Great Muda. You see the, the black face paint there. He's got a couple different looks. And the last and final one, Diamond Dallas Page. Let's go, DDP. Quick look at the badges, and I'll toss up the entrances as I talk here. For the Mr. Perfect, we got level 2s on Swiftness, second wind. A level 1 on Sting, like it be. He does have Freeze as a payback, which is a really, really cool one. He's got 84 grapple offense, 90 on the power submission offense. That is insanely high. He's got a 95 on the strength. And then 67s on agility and speed, 90 on the special, 79 recovery, 96 on the finisher. These are 95 overall pink diamonds, so the attributes will look good. Next up, we have the Iron Cheek. He's got level 1s on Slippery Eel, Merciless Opportunist, Space Invader. He's got Iron Jaw as a payback. And then for his attributes, things to stand out, 89 arm power, 95 grapple offense, 89 power submission offense. Really, really good durability on the body and arm. 95s on those. We see a 95 on the strength. 72s on stamina, speed, 67 agility, 83s on recovery and special, 89 on the finisher. Next up, we get Lex Luger, who's got level 2s on rage. Thing like a bee, space invader. He's got iron jaw as a payback. For his attributes, 87s on arm power and grapple offense, 81 on the power submission offense. 87 pin escape, 92 on the strength, 76 stamina, 65 on agility, 70 on the movement speed, 76 recovery, 87 special, 92 on the finisher. Next up, the Great Muda, the only striker we get in the pack, but striker, my favorite class in the game. Now, we are going to have a couple different attires for the Great Muda. He's got level twos on Dive Bomber, Sting Like a Beast, Swiftness, come back as a payback, and then for his attributes. 88 leg power, 82 arm power, 88 on aerial range and offense, 88 pin escape, lots of 88s, 88 on the stamina, 77s on agility and speed, 88s on recovery, special 93 on the finisher. And the last and final one in this pack, Diamond Dallas Page, my favorite out of this bunch. Let me know your favorite in the comment section. I hope we get a better card of this guy because he's only got level ones on Sting Like B and Slippery Eel. He's got comeback as a payback and for his attributes, 91 on the arm power, 86 on the leg power and grapple offense. He's got a 75 power submission offense, which honestly for that attributes, not bad. Not bad. We got 75 on speed, 70 agility, 86 special and recovery and a 91 on the finisher. And again, I really hope we see better versions of all of these cards, but especially DDP because that's my favorite in this pack. Outside of my faction, we did get an arena. How cool is this? We get a WCW War Games. So you can set this up as just the individual ring, or if you go to War Games, you're going to get that double. Look at that. It's got that old school feel to it. Very cool. And you can put it up to a four on four. I'm curious in 2K25 if we can do a five on five. We should. Those overalls outside of my faction. We got an 86 on the Great Muda, 88 on DDP, 85 on the Iron Cheek, 87 on Lex Luger, and an 84 on Mr. Perfect. So we got the patch, we got the final DLC on the year, but what does that mean for my faction today? Yeah, we got the DLC pack, but anything else, we take a look at ranked play. 20 hours, 15 minutes. So when we log on tomorrow, we're gonna see four new quarters. It's gonna be a new match. It's probably gonna bounce back to the men's division and we're gonna see new rewards inside of here. And the big card, I'm pretty sure is gonna be a 99 Galaxy Opal. Cody Rhodes. We saw him in a live event recently, so I think we're going to see him. And now we take a look at the live events. The active tab, nothing has changed here. It is all the same. But for the upcoming tab, we have a Randy Savage birthday bash. And yes, that is an evolution card. 
I thought they forgot about them. I'm going to be honest. I thought they forgot about the evolution cards. But we get one. And it's a Macho Man Randy Savage who starts at a diamond. He can go up to a pink diamond. And it looks like he can go all the way to a 99 Galaxy Opal. That is awesome. His badge is looking as so. But the badges can get better. Resiliency as a payback in his attributes at a diamond. Also in this birthday bash, it looks like we're going to have... 2,500 my faction points as a tier 3 reward. And then the tier 1 and tier 2 will get an Alter Ego Basic and a Legends 2 Deluxe. So after you get an Evolution card, you can click in here. And that's going to give you your Evolution requirements. So this Damien Priest, if I were to do these, he goes up to an Amethyst. 100 Lights, 50 Heavies, and 40 Reversals. And guess what? He goes up to an Amethyst. So it's going to be the same thing for that Macho Man. We're going to have requirements, go to a Pink Diamond, and then he can go one more, it looks like, to a Galaxy Opal. Very cool. And I do think when we log on tomorrow, yes, we're going to have new rank play, but also I think we have more live events, and I think we're going to see card requirements uh, that tie in with the DLC for rewards. I think. I would assume so, but we'll see. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up, smash that thumbs up to put me over. Drop a comment below. Let me know your favorite superstar from the WCW DLC here today. And subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.